Hello everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to be here at uh, the Open Source Summit, specifically at uh, DevOpsCon. My name is Ram Ayengar. I work on a couple of uh, LF projects, um, namely Cloud Foundry and uh, the OpenSSF. And uh, today I'm stepping a little out of my comfort zone um, to to speak with the GitOpsCon folks and the GitOps community at large. Um, and the talk that I have today is mostly shower thoughts. So I heard about Dora metrics and I've done a little bit of a dive into what GitOps is and things like that. And I thought, well, this these two might just work perfectly together. And so I started to dig in deeper about uh, Dora metrics and GitOps. And uh, my first reaction was that this was just perfect. So um, Dora, uh, for those who are unaware, is uh, an open source project. It's an open project, to be uh, honest, and uh, uh, they specify certain metrics by which to measure the efficiency and the efficacy of uh, any DevOps uh, pipelines and things like that that uh, people have. GitOps is an open source project too, and um, it basically provides I think you all know what GitOps is. I'm not going to bother defining it. And so um, it seemed to me like the overlaps between what um, GitOps had as process and what Dora wanted to measure was uh, very obvious. So there's the example of GitOps being designed in order to do deployments. And uh, Dora, as its first metric, positioned deployment frequency as a measure of uh, successful DevOps pipeline. Uh, and then there's other things like um, GitOps obviously advocates for uh, heavy automation and uh, Dora metrics uh, are meant to measure a lot of these um, automated ways and how people are um, recovering from failure, for example, and how um, what's the lead time to uh, make a change and things like that. And so both of these worlds largely were about enabling something in terms of process and technology with GitOps and measuring and uh, observing what these um, times were and other metrics were with Dora. However, as I started to explore this a little more, um, there's always nuance and there's always layers and there's always conflicting opinions as you go along among practitioners and things like that. And um, GitOps, affects an application stack in multiple levels. So there's, there's layers and dimensions to what a GitOps um, spread is like. And so there's distinctively three different things that you can manage with a GitOps uh, setup, which is you can manage infrastructure, you can manage applications that run on this, in, this infrastructure, and you can manage services that you know sit anywhere between um, the application and the infrastructure and they're used periphery, peripherally by both of them. And so once you start getting into these nuances and layers, I found that, you know, my assumptions and imaginations sort of started to come apart a little bit. And I'll give you examples of those. So Dora doesn't necessarily have a proper framework in place for analyzing the health and the stability and the availability, reliability sort of metrics that infrastructure largely requires you to report on. Um, it does not have a quantitative or a qualitative way of assessing service quality. And it doesn't um, also do stuff with applications in the sense of um, a lot of the metrics for applications come from external tools. Um, and there's also you know, ways in which business metrics have to be um, focused on and measured against and reported about, and which is, uh, which is again, not in the Dora realm. And so as I started to experiment with this, it, it, it became clear that Dora is probably not as good a fit for um, the, the GitOps world as I imagined. And so this lightning talk was basically to explore this as an idea, get some feedback from the community, uh, get some opinions, um, which are always great to begin with, uh, and really, you know, throw the idea out there and give a shout out to 
all of the awesome work that both the Dora community and the GitOps community are doing independently and see if there's a way um, to cross-pollinate and work together and things like that. And I expect to you know, continue to experiment with these, find out a little more, hopefully report back in time for uh, GitOpsCon EU and uh, showcase an implementation or two uh, where I'm able to grab some real metrics and, uh, and um, you know, prepare, prepare for a show and tell. That's about all I had. Uh, thank you for uh, stopping by this lightning talk. I'm Ram Ayengar on most social media. You'll probably find me hanging around uh, where there's food. So uh, don't be a stranger. Uh, come uh, say hi, and I'm happy to chat about these things. Thank you so much.